Although the left has controlled the narrative on White House scandals, that's all about to change. In fact, former President Barack Obama just got some seriously bad news, and he's got to be shaking in his boots after hearing what the DOJ is about to let out. Eric Holder, left, President Donald Trump, center, former President Barack Obama, right, photo credit, flicker, to, the White House, rather than report on how Americans are flourishing under the current presidency, the left has instead decided that the time would be best spent looking for anything that could harm the reputation of our leader. As a result, we've seen countless claims made against President Donald Trump that have turned out to be false. In addition, we have an investigation into a collusion with Russia, and it has gone absolutely nowhere, despite spending millions of taxpayer dollars. Liberals have done anything they can to oppose the president every step of the way. However, the constant attacks and obstruction from the left are all about to come to a screeching halt. Trump's administration is finally fighting back by using the power of the DOJ. Washington Examiner explains that courts are allowing the government to withhold funding from California as they are in violation of federal law with regards to the so-called sanctuary cities. Even better yet, Jeff Sessions has personally announced that the DOJ will be suing California for this as well, according to NBC. He even ripped into the state, its leaders, and policies. As if that isn't enough to get liberals all flustered, the Daily Caller is reporting that the Attorney General is now seriously considering a second special counsel to investigate the investigators of the non-existent Russian collusion scandal. As a result, it's easy to see why the left was already so nervous these days, but the worst for them was yet to come. In fact, former President Barack Obama just found himself in the DOJ's crosshairs. As it turns out, he got some seriously bad news after hearing what the Justice Department is planning to do. According to IJ Review, the Department of Justice announced it will be releasing more documents related to the botched, fast and furious operation by the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives, then Attorney General Eric Holder, who headed the Obama Justice Department from 2009 to 2015, was the only cabinet member in U.S history to be held in contempt of Congress for refusing to release the documents to the House Oversight Committee just hours after Obama invoked executive privilege to prevent the release. Fast and Furious was a secret operation conducted by the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives which allowed weapons from the U.S. to pass into to the hands of Mexican cartels. ATF lost track of nearly 2,000 firearms during the course of the operation which began in late 2009. The operation ended in 2010 and details have been covered up for years as to what transpired, including the discovery of missing guns at the scene of the murder of Border Patrol agent Brian Terry. Source, Dispatch Review, conveniently, it was Barack Obama and Eric Holder who withheld the documents from the American people, seeing how the paperwork likely incriminated the pair. This was a brazen cover-up of massive proportions too bad for them, the time is up. How was this corruption allowed to go unchecked for so long? Starting with Holder being held in contempt of Congress, why was this guy allowed to remain in his position after that? The Attorney General is supposed to be the apex of justice. He's the tip of the spear. How can someone in such a position be allowed to remain there after showing that he has no respect for the law? Furthermore, how can that same person be expected to cast judgment on others who do the same? The Obama administration was a sham. Full of cover-up and lies, we're now getting a peek behind the curtain, and I have a feeling that someone is going to end up getting in some pretty serious trouble once we learn what really happened. Follow us on Facebook, Gap.